Cycling has never been popular in Syria until now, with a rise in fuel prices and increasingly heavy traffic in the country. But women who want to ride have a challenge to overcome. They have to struggle against conservative attitudes that frown upon females on bikes. Iyad Hudar has more from Damascus. Damascus residents are used to sitting in traffic jams since cars are the most common form of transport here. But a massive hike in fuel prices has changed commuting behavior. Bicycles offer a cheaper and faster way to travel around the city. But traditional attitudes have proved harder to move. In many Arab countries, women and bicycles aren't expected to mix. Dania Saidi is fighting against this. The 28-year-old marketing manager is a member of Yalla Let's Bike, a youth initiative that promotes the culture of riding bikes in Syria. She's faced her fair share of criticism along the way. Now, Dania and her cycling companion, Ashtar Al Ahmed, a design student at Damascus University, have inspired others to ride behind them. فلما نحن طلعنا صرنا نحن عم نكون المشجعين للعالم لحتى يطلعوا. They will join other members of the Yalla Let's Bike initiative to organize a bike riding rally across Damascus. Man Al Himme, the organization's founder, wants to inspire Syrian citizens to cycle and by doing so challenge existing attitudes that say a woman has no place on a bicycle. These challenges. Actually inspired me to launch the initiative because for me it was for environment, it was for the economy, and mainly it was for empowerment. Because you can't tell people to go over the traditions unless if they are empowered, unless if they trust themselves. The Syrian government has backed the initiative. It issued new traffic laws to allow bicycles on the roads and allow cyclists to ride on the pavement. Meanwhile, the city's young cyclists are staying firmly on their saddles. Young people like Man and Dania have overcome obstacles created by war and cultural norms. And in doing so, they're creating a positive change in their society, which could help Syria ride a brighter future. Iyad Khudur, Channel News Asia, Damascus.